We're here today at the entrance to Ecology Park beside busy Ashburnham Drive. We'll get to why we're at this location in just a little bit. I'm joined with Kathy Duick, the manager of the Ecology Park. Kathy, we're talking about trees today and you told me a bit earlier that a lot of people seem to think that spring is the only time of year that you can plant trees, but that's not the case, is it? Well, spring can be a good time to plant trees, but I actually prefer fall planting in many cases. And why is that? Because it gives the trees a really good chance to get a toehold while the weather's still cool. Mm -hmm. We usually have more rain in the fall, and there's a, there's a long period of root growth after the leaves fall from the deciduous trees. So they keep growing right up until the ground freezes, so it really gives them a good head start. So we can plant right up until the ground freezes? Absolutely, yep. Okay. Now, I mentioned earlier we're beside Ashram Drive here. We're going to talk about some trees that are good for locations that are beside streets and driveways and things of that nature. What are some good species we should be on the lookout for? Okay, well, first of all, we need uh, species that are tolerant of salt and air pollution and soil compaction, and not every tree would like to grow in those kinds of stressful conditions. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is a hybrid between two of our native maple trees. Uh, it's called a Freeman maple, okay. and we have a, a lovely specimen here just right, right behind me. Okay. Um, and um, it's a cross between our native red and our native silver maples. And uh, it's very, um, uh, very hardy, but it, it also turns a beautiful red, orangey red color in the fall. So by early October, this tree will just be a blaze of color. So that's certainly one that I like very much. Mm -hmm. Now back a bit further, um, you mentioned there were some hackberries as well. Tell me a little bit about them. Hackberry is a tree that not many people know about. It's also native to Ontario. Mm -hmm. Very tough tree, grows quite quickly. It has a shape that's similar to an elm tree, but of course it, it doesn't get Dutch elm disease. Exactly. So uh, it's a great uh, tree to select for a high stress condition such as by a roadside. Okay. Now, I think we should be looking out for native tree species over exotics, I believe. Wherever possible, we are encouraging people to choose native species, but not every native species of tree will grow in stressful urban conditions. Mm -hmm. So, and there are a few exotics that are not invasive, like a ginkgo tree is also a good selection for a, a high stress mm -hmm. uh, location. But um, it's great to have a good variety of trees. Having all the same type of tree on a, a roadside may look attractive, but if there's some type of a pest that attacks that particular type of tree, then you'll lose all of them. So really, you want to look down your street and, and choose something different from your neighbors. Now, what are some other types of trees you'd recommend, Kathy, for a busy roadway area like this? Well, another of my favorites is also right behind us, over here, this lovely tree. Some people would call it a linden or uh, a basswood, and this is a, a, a variety of our native basswood. Okay. And uh, it, you see that it has a lovely pyramidal shape. Mm -hmm. You notice we're quite close to the wires, yep. but it's not going to spread out into the wires and cause all sorts of pruning problems. So it stays like a nice tight pyramid shape. Great big heart-shaped leaves. And uh, in June, it has lovely yellow flowers that just smell beautiful. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one of my favorites. It's a very tough tree. And another one that I like a lot, that we have some beautiful big samples of this tree in Peterborough, and that's a burr oak. Okay. And uh, grows quite easily in a wide range of conditions. Uh, very tough, very drought tolerant, and grows surprisingly quickly for an oak tree. So that's a burr oak. All right, so lots of good choices out there for people to make. Absolutely. All right, well, I see you've got lots of choices in there. We can pick through and see what we can find to plant. How about we go do that? Let's go and have a look. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today for the Green Update, and we'll see you again next week. The Green Update is brought to you by Peterborough Moves. The splendor of fall is best appreciated when you're walking and cycling. If you have any questions about today's episode of the Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 745-3238.